Hello, and welcome to The Simpsons Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror on Game Boy Color. I would just like to point out at this time that I have not included any music, uh, so there's no sound effects either, because the music drives me absolutely mental. Along with the game itself, of course, but that goes without saying. So this game came out in 2001, so... Well, let's do this. Bad Dream House. The Simpsons dog is trapped in the attic of a pet-hungry haunted house. Help Bart rescue Santa's little helper before he becomes Satan's little helper. Find fuses to place in the fuse box so Bart can turn on the lights and find the way up to the attic. Beware of the possessed household objects. They have been sent to destroy you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I got this game when I was like 13, 14, and it annoyed me even back then. I, I could never get past this first level, and so this is why I've made this video to prove this point. Now, you, the first room you go into is like dark, like this. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you get killed by the white mop if you go into a dark room. You have to learn that the hard way. Look at this, you start right right beside the vacuum cleaner. Ridiculous. Books. I fucking hate the books. Just annoying. You can't shoot them because they only just come into your range. To try and time it is just... You're just wasting time. Another dark room. And a mouse. Great. Yep, not going to attempt that. Okay, so you walk back along the hall and... I mean, look at this. You've got two enemies. I mean, you, your shots are so slow, you, there's no way you can actually take them out in that time. I mean, realistically. Right, so really all you can do, you can go upstairs and there is one room you can go into, but there's nothing in it. I say nothing. You'll see. So, I mean, this has got to be the way you go, right? I mean, there's nowhere else to go. Oh, yeah, don't get me started on the jumping. Right. It's so unresponsive. And it's what kills you most of the time. You, th you think you'd be able to make that, right? I mean, it's a w it looks... Yeah, it's a window, but it looks like an object that's been drawn in. Okay, so you get the first fuse. <sighs> okay. Now, I'm not going to jump... I'm not going to walk past that fuse box, so I want to show you what happens afterwards. Some hands grabbing at you from the ground. So we'll jump up here, because there's a donut up here. We'll fill some of our health. So we drop down, and... Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, it it's already where you're going to land. On the ladder, for crying out loud. Three-eyed fish? I mean, at least, it, it is... There's one thing I can say about the game, is it's full of references from The Simpsons, which is what I did like at the time, even though I couldn't get past the first fucking level. I mean, El Barto, you've got the three-eyed fish. There's plenty of other stuff. And this level's based on the Bad Dreamhouse episode of... Uh, of The Simpsons. Uh, the Treehouse of Horror episodes. Which is pretty cool. I mean, these based each level kind of on like an episode, which is pretty pretty cool. And I liked it back then. Okay, so you go down here. You assume you're just going to the left because you came, you went all the way to the right, and now you go all the way to the left, right? Wrong. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. You go that way, you're fucked. So there's only one way to go. You're going to go right. And this is where the game's going to test your jumping skills. So you got a small gap. No problem. Oh, kind of tricky. And this one's a bitch. Every time, the mouse. Waiting for you on the other side. And here we go. <sighs> Thought you might like to see it a couple more times. I mean, did you see that? His feet went right through the platform. Your feet don't have to touch the platform. Your body has to be, like, in line with the platform as well as your feet. It's ridiculous. Okay, now watch this. Yeah, that's right. When you walk past the fuse box. You put the fuses in the fuse box. You can't help that. And the time it takes you to land and jump is exactly how long it takes a spider to crawl up and fucking bite you in the ass. Okay, so we're just back to doing this again. We know what we're doing this time, at least. We're going down to jump that fucking gap. So we shouldn't really have any problems until we get down there. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> really. Back at the fucking beginning. All the way down there uh, again. It's fantastic. It's fa absolutely fantastic. At least avoid the spider this time. Because we have no fuses in our inventory, otherwise he would have got us. Uh, I mean, it's just so tedious. I mean, I remember this from when I was young. I mean, it just drives you insane. This is the first level in the game. Jump that fish. Hey. <laughs> I mean, why make it so hard? It's a Simpsons game. You're, you're Surely the game's directed at, uh, you know, you, children and young adults. Not somebody who's like a hardcore gamer. I mean... Not this is particularly a hardcore game, but still, it's quite hard for a Simpsons game. Now check that, the fucking mice, right above each other. 
Anyway, we're getting back to this gap again. Come on. Oh. This one? Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Ha, the mouse was the other side this time. So, wow. Fuck that up. And I fucked that up. Good too. Come on, you useless fool. Try harder. So we're back at the beginning again. Right at the beginning. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, here we go. Has to go and do the whole thing again, so we need to get the first two fuses. Not much of a big deal. I mean, it is the same direction that you have to go in. Uh, so I think they figured out you're going to fuck up quite a lot trying to get uh, over those gaps at the bottom. Oh, yep, got me again. Yeah, very funny. Fuck you very much, Mr. Spider. <sighs> yeah, so back to the back to the bottom again. You know, I always blank out my vision, but the score thing at the bottom left. What the fuck's that about? Like, who cares? Really? Yep, tedious. But you want to do it. it. You've only played like a couple of minutes of the game. It's not really that fair. And you know what else isn't fair? Look to the bottom right. Yeah. There's a fucking timer. Counting down. Now, you've got, what, seven minutes or whatever. I mean, it's not that bad. But if you're taking your time to try and time these jumps and kill the enemies, you're going to run out of time before you fucking finish the level. Madness. Absolute madness. No, you're not getting me this time, Mouse. Oh. Okay, this time, this time. Yes! I have done it. Okay, so we get over here and we find a blue key. Oh, I guess that opens one of the uh, one of the doors. Now, if you didn't know, you didn't notice there, maybe, but the, the the green stuff was rising, so you then have a timed bit to get out of this section. Yeah, fun. So we go over to the left because, ugh, wow, at least it doesn't knock you back like some games. So we go back to the left, climb up the fucking ladder again. So at least we're, you know, actually making some progress here. We've got four lives, so even if we die four times... Now, spider... No! <sighs> Dead. Now, did that work? Did, did that work? Is the fuse still in my hand? Did I... <sighs> Jesus Christ. Did it actually go into the fuse box? I'm going to have to go and check. Yeah. And it did. It did. Well, no way to tell, because there's no way to tell if you're carrying a fuse in anyway. You just have to walk down to the fuse box and check. And get hit by a spider every time. Right, I don't like the way the enemies hang outside the rooms for you. It's... They just spawn in front of rooms and walk back and forth. Okay, so not this room, obviously. Up the stairs? Mm, I think it is up the stairs, actually. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is open. Ah, there we go. So this has now got some lights on, so we're not going to get killed by a mop as soon as we enter the room. Now, this room seems quite easy, to be honest. I mean, it's it's just you jump three times. I mean, look, you've got fire there, but as far as I know, you can't get hurt by it. Just for show, I guess. Yay, another fuse that goes into our inventory and doesn't show up anywhere. Okay, so you can go through that door and go into the other room, which is still dark, which I don't really see why you'd ever want to do. So yep, you walk back. So we go upstairs now. Oh wait, no. Or we go downstairs and use the fuse. Oh my god. You kind of have to kill a couple of them, but you don't want to waste your time. I mean, they take one hit from you and they're dead, so it's kind of easier just to walk into some of them. Oh, ah, I got them. Yeah, so. I mean, I could go and put the fuse in downstairs, but I've also got this key, which I got before I got that fuse, so surely I should go in this room first, right? Now this is the room I was talking about, where it's the only room upstairs you can go in at the start, but the only thing that's in it is a spider and a donut. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Spider, for guarding that donut. It's a very useful room. But you go to the right, and you've got a vacuum cleaner, and there's our door with a key, and there's another donut. I mean, it refills pretty much all your health, so there's no point. And you can stand in this corner and not get hit at all. It's kind of a bit of a cheat. It doesn't go all the way. Now, the book doesn't hit you. Jump the hand, grab the key. Now you're going to have to wait, because the book is timed in such a way where you have to jump this, and you're not going to have enough time to jump. 
Oh. Hmm. I'm sure there's another hand. Hmm. Must be another room. Maybe not. So we now have a yellow key. Which obviously goes in that yellow door. Not, not down the stairs. In the yellow door. Which is a, a dark room. A, the attic, I presume. So, I obviously did that in the wrong order somehow. So I guess you got to go back downstairs and put the fuses in the fuse box. Makes sense, I guess. I really hate this basement. This mouse, that spider, and the other spider that gets me every single time unless I kill it. So here we go, try and kill it this time. Yeah. Fuck you, Mr. Spider. Right, we're still missing one fuse, so... I'm guessing it's the room to the left as you go upstairs. I mean, before you go upstairs. After you go up, go up these stairs. Nope, you can't jump the stairs. You have to walk slowly up them. Yeah. So we go left and into... What was it? The living room? Oh, fuck knows. Yeah, living room. So. Can't jump that. Oh. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, yep, waste my time. And a red key. Red key. Now, you can go back through the left, and all you have to do is jump that one hand. But I'll show you what's this way. Because... I don't see the uh, bloody. I don't see the point really. You can go further this way to jump over more obstacles, go through a door, to then go through the kitchen. Now, only if you got all the fuses, and then I, I just I don't think it's possible. I mean, maybe it is, but and at least they give you multiple ways of doing it, I guess. But very strange. So, right, you're not getting me this time. Book vacuum cleaner combo. Ah, ha ha. Swooped my head, yeah, didn't get me. Yeah, see what I mean? That you have to be so careful with your timing on those books. They only have one moment where they go down low enough where you can actually hit them. Okay, so where am I going? Um, well, may as well grab the health first. Um, see, I forget. I just Oh yeah, the one room that I've not gone into. Uh, the orange keyed room, of course. Okay, we've got another bedroom. I mean, all the bedrooms look identical, and they don't in the show. I mean, that's one thing they could have done slightly better. Uh, I don't even know if those are the curtains that are in the bedrooms, but whatever. And we got the last fuse. Yeah. Oh, why did I do that? I think I meant to jump. Right. Now back along. Uh, this is the bit I was talking about. You have to time your jumps. You have to wait. Just very, very annoying. Especially if you have to do it multiple times. Okay, vacuum cleaner. Hide in the corner. Yep, not a problem. So, now we go back downstairs. And into the room on the left, right? Wait. Or is it... No, we've we've already gone to the room on the left, right? Okay, yeah. We're gonna go and put the fuse away. I don't know why these boxes are here. They they only serve to jump away from the mouse. Plenty of time to jump over the mouse in other circumstances. Right, it's Mr. Spider, my worst enemy. <laughs> okay, now all four fuses. Now we don't have to come the fuck down here again. So let's go. I would love to know how many hours of my childhood I wasted walking back and forth through this fucking basement. Probably quite a lot. Okay, so finally we go back into the only room that we haven't actually been able to go into. Well, I say that. We have been able to go into it, but it's dark, so we haven't been able to see it. But no point going in there until I've got some health, I guess. So back over here. I mean, you could go into that bathroom, but it takes just as long to walk over here and kill that one thing as it does to go into the bathroom, jump the spider, and grab the donut in there. It's kind of... I don't know. What's the point? You don't need both of them. Okay, so here we have the attic. Where Santa's little helper is being uh, kept. Or Satan's little helper, if we're too late. I guess that's what the timer's for, thinking about it. Okay, now that is the boss, right there. That mop. The thing that killed us in the dark rooms before. I guess it's not so invincible in the light. But it's quite hard to to kill it. I mean, I've st I'm still not 100% sure. I think you can just hit it anywhere, but watch this. It follows you, but you wait, and <laughs> it comes and gets you. 
Okay, I'm gonna get you this time. Come on. No. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, come on, I shot it. It went right through it. So what? Do you have to hit like the the bottom part, like the straw part of it? Here we go. No, no. Yes. I I hit it. I hurt it. Did it? Did it get hurt because it hit me? I I I honestly don't know. Okay, come on. One hit. One hit left. I guess. Right. Come on. Where's he gone? When I was younger, I was convinced that he was summoned by you jumping. Because every time I turned and jumped, he'd appear behind me. That's what it felt like, anyway. Hey! Set us a little helper! So, yeah. Obviously got to kill this mop. Now where the fuck is it? Guess you just gotta find it. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Come on! Oh, oh, you cheeky son of a! Come on! Oh, come on! I'm shooting right through it. Come on! One hit left each. Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, the mouse got me! The mouse! Oh, wow! Okay, we know what we're doing this time. Well, we don't really. But I, I hit it there. <laughs> I was aiming at the mouse, but cool. I'm happy with that. Um. Yep. Oh, right. Here we goes. Oh, he, did I? So how did that work? Did that that hurt him that time? And I don't. He didn't hurt me. I don't know how it works. It's very confusing. It's less of a battle and like more of. Okay, so he got hurt by me because I was drawing my. As long as you Oh, yay! There we go. Right. Got you, son of a bitch. So just jump up here. Get to Santa's little helper. Oh, yeah. Good one, spider. Hmm. And... That's it. Level complete. There's something I was never able to do as a child. Quite hard. Now, look at this. The password. I mean, here you go, if you want to go and jump to the second level yourself. But look at that. It's an 11-digit... Well, it's letters, but still. 11 digit password. Yeah, have fun typing it in. <laughs> yeah, I. That was the only way I was able to get through the game when I was younger. I, j I had the codes which I got like months after I'd got the game, and I was able to finally get to the, through the levels. I can only play them one at a time by going through the passwords, so quite annoying. Well, that's one off the bucket list. <laughs>